We started the project, the Sochi project in 2009 and the main reason why we started this project is that we uh, were already aware of the fact that the Russian authorities would use these games as a way to show the world how powerful they are, how rich they are. They want to use these glamorous games for a kind of facade to the rest of the world and what we wanted to do is to bring alternative stories. I think it's important that people get the opportunity to see a little bit more than only these glossy games. The Sochi region is one of, of, of huge contrasts, so it's about tourism and a subtropical coastline filled with tangerine bushes and palm trees and uh, a lot of beautiful hotels, but at the same time it's about the most expensive winter games ever. Then there is this tiny republic at the south of Sochi, Abkhazia, which is virtually unknown and completely desolate, isolated, ruined country. It's really south at the border of, of, of Sochi. So that's another contrast that these winter games, these most expensive winter games, will be organized right at the border of this tiny republic. And then there is on the other side of the mountains this conflictuous area, the North Caucasus, full of violence, but also the most poor region in Russia. So we wanted to make our stories with attention to these contrasts. I've been following the work that Rob Hornter has been doing for about five or six years. And when I heard that he uh, was collaborating with Arnold on the Sochi project, it sounded like you know, just a really compelling idea for a story, um, something about a place that doesn't get a lot of attention, something that certainly doesn't get a lot of attention in the United States, a part of the world that really is more or less ignored by mainstream media. The pictures I was seeing as they were coming out were just astounding. The portraits were amazing, really insightful, penetrating portraits. The landscapes, very beautiful, very engaging. And there was so many layers to this story when they were making beautiful visuals, but also telling really important stories that I think hadn't been heard very often.